The big RoboTaxi event location has been leaked. Yes, we know it's actually happening this time. 8-8 was a false start. 10-10, it's happening and it's going down in Burbank, California at the Warner Brothers lot. Interesting. I'm Brian. Welcome to Futuraza. So we know that uh, 10-10 is not just the date, but how good the event is going to be. 10 out of 10. I'm excited. And if you know how to get a ticket or you have a plus one, I beg of you, think of me. Got a lot of people looking out for me, uh, but it's hard to get those plus ones because an event like this is going to be a big seller. Everyone's going to want to go. It's not like a shareholder meeting where somebody gets one and their spouse says, a shareholder meeting? Really? This is going to be a, a hotter ticket. And we don't know how many tickets there is going to be frustrating leaked but uh obviously uh potentially real let's get to the headline uh here it is uh burbank tesla to unveil its uh, robo taxi at warner brothers movie studio in october gotta 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 keep them looking sinister here guys good job so what do we got here uh tesla aims to unveil it at warner brothers discovery inc's movie studio in los angeles Electric vehicle company is targeting a reveal of the purpose-built robo taxi. Is that is that definitely what we're targeting? Uh, has said people asking not to be identified. So there's a bunch of reasons. And then it says, and then Tesla didn't respond to request, and Warner Brothers didn't respond either. Why would they? Warner Brothers, I can't imagine, is permitted to tell you who is going to be renting their location. That seems like a violation of privacy. Yeah, Chuck E. Cheese also won't tell you other people's kids who are having birthdays. Come on. Musk has been prioritizing autonomy, and then, yes, and then that's it. That's the whole thing. Wafer-thin coverage from Fortune. Uh, so, yeah, it would be, it's coming up soon enough that they need to get the plans in motion. It would be very unusual to have something that far out that doesn't involve a whole lot of people. And it only takes one or two of them to leak. And ideally, too, so that you have it on actually good authority and it's not necessarily a, a trap or a trick. So let's take a look at the studio and see what it looks like. It looks like this. That's not very exciting. That doesn't give you much information. Uh, it's this red perimeter here. But let's go into 3D get a little more a little better information so here's you know the entrance and what you're probably looking at is the city scene which is over here this is it right yeah all of this is city fake city but city now uh, you can see it's fun how they do it if you've never been on one of these tours universal has a tour warner brothers has a tour they take you around, show you some of these famous locations that you've seen a million times and didn't recognize. But you'll notice the streets always end, so they can shoot in any direction without looking off into the distance and seeing that you're on a Hollywood lot. Uh, so there's different types of city streets, courthouse, and then some more stuff back here. This is enough space. This is a decent amount of space. And, and there's a lot of stuff around here. Uh, but why why do it at a film studio at all? A couple reasons. Um, it does have a, it's closed. Uh, that's nice to have. It is secure and it has uh, security. It has fantastic security. People are always trying to break into movie sets. Security is prepared for that. Add an extra layer for your own event. You've got good security. So that's to me kind of a big one. And, but why here and not a different studio? Well, I think part of it is there's only a handful of back lots left. These used to be, it used to be that every major studio had their own, but the land got really valuable and it just got cheaper to go shoot somewhere else. So what they would do, and, and there's still some around, you can find some in other areas. There's a good place over here I saw, um, right here. Yeah, this is, uh, this is the good place. There it is, the good place. And as far as the bad place, I assume that would be Disneyland. I kid, of course. They no longer have a back lot, as far as I'm aware. Universal has a fantastic lot. It could be that that was their first choice and that it simply wasn't available. They have more miles of roadway, uh, but yeah, a lot of it is always in flux. Let's see if we can find City Hall. Oh, that's the theme park. Here's the back lot. Is this it? 
Yeah, a little suburban neighborhood mm -hmm. next to Jaws. Yes, always in flux. And it could be that, again, that, that they're just too busy and can't spare it. And then you've got Paramount Studios back lot, which is real small. It's this. That's the whole city. Paramount, that's too small, I think, for the demonstration that Tesla intends to have. It's great that they actually use the facades on the studios. Get some double use out of it. Michael Bay Avenue. That's class. I love it. And actually, if we go back over to Universal here, sorry, if we go back over to Warner Brothers, this used to be somebody's lot. It says Warner Brothers Ranch Facility. I'm not sure if that's the case, but it is gone. It is being developed. And I did see there's all kinds of fun stuff when you search around the neighborhoods. I saw a dog trainer somewhere in here. I was like, oh, that's, yeah, it's up here. That's definitely uh, somebody working with the, these studios. Good dog canine training and services. That's got to be a Hollywood thing. doesn't have to be, but you're so close to Warner Brothers. Wouldn't it make sense to live right there? And if you really want some fun, why don't we take a look at rich people houses? I think we can get a little better view here. Rich people houses. So nice. And actually, I guess this will give us a chance to look at some different perspectives on this lot. Uh, yeah. You can see how the city's laid out. Let's get in a little closer here. Very thin buildings. But yeah, you've got all kinds of city here. City in between them, sort of. City back here. That's plenty of room to do a demo, don't you think? So I think that's what we're going to see. Will I be going? I will be going. Will I get in? Probably. I don't know. We'll wait and see. Uh, but it's going to be fun. What am I expecting to see? I should probably make a whole video about that again. I'm expecting to see low horsepower because you don't need breakneck acceleration when you're not the one driving. I expect to see lighter weight. I expect to see something that's maybe ugly duckling pretty rather than conventionally pretty. I'm expecting to see single motor. I'm expecting to see the app, at least a dummy version of it. Maybe a real version that you could, oh boy. Yeah, what you get is on the day they activate it on your app. So if your phone has the Tesla app, you can do a one-time code that will activate it for the day. And then you can summon a taxi anywhere in the Warner Brothers lot. Oh, the app already exists. It's already on my phone. They would just need to enable that part of it. Oh, look at that. I just saw this. There is also the Friends Fountain. That's neat. Oh, look at that. Right there. Huh. Uh, what else do I expect to see? Yeah, I expect to see a, a very simplified design, a vehicle that they can actually make and sell for 25000 despite all the inflation we've had, and still have a 20-30% margin. I'm expecting to see all that. And as you drop the weight, uh, I'd like it to have LFP batteries. We know Tesla has purchased LFP equipment, and they're getting it dialed in now. All this would be great. And then you could even, because it's LFP... Perhaps they could be used in a vehicle-to-grid application when there's not enough traffic. You could just park them at superchargers and let them feed back in during peak hours. That's an idea. I don't know if it's a great idea, but it's an idea. So, yeah. Hmm. I think that's it. What did I miss? What did I misunderstand? Are you in the L.A. area? Would you like to hang out and say hello? If I get in a day or two early, which I plan to, uh, maybe we can set up a meet and greet. That'd be fun. Uh, get together, maybe have lunch, maybe have dinner, maybe um, have, I don't know, coffee, drinks, doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, uh, it's exciting. This is my Super Bowl, man. And it's interesting to see we're doing one on the West Coast. Oh, that's what I forgot to mention. Why is it on the West Coast at all? Because a lot of the operations are still on the West Coast. 
I'm sure there's some place else you could find a little city to do. I know Tyler Perry's studios in Atlanta have a number of cities or a, a number of buildings in his compound. I don't know how he'd feel about renting out his property. Maybe a little too uh, invasive, but uh, yeah, it'd be, there's a lot of places it could be, but I think being in California works out logistically in terms of getting everybody there um, with all the, with all the equipment, with all the supplies, with all the robo taxis, which I am starting to think there may be a handful of for those of us lucky to it enough to attend. And I say us because even if I don't get in, I'll be there in spirit with you, my friends, uh, to actually experience. Everybody else, like, subscribe, you know what you're doing. Stay tuned and juicy, and I cannot wait to hear from you clever robots in Burbank. Mm.